Mary goes exploring and gets lost. She gets lost because she's not used to finding her way. And it's a very useful skill being able to find your way. One thing that you can do is if you're in an area that is rectangular, like a lot of cities have square grids, or houses can be, you know, big buildings, stores can be laid out in a sort of grid fashion where you have things that go this way and things that go that way, but nothing that goes diagonal. In those cases, you can say, I am four squares up and three squares over, or you can keep track of how many turns. So you start out and you're going straight and you turn right, that's plus one. You turn right again, that's plus two and you're headed backwards. You turn right again, that's plus three. Turn right a fourth time and you're back to zero. And if you go left, you subtract one. So you're at zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus four is back to zero. So that's one thing you can do. Um, a lot of people have an innate sense of what direction north is. This has been demonstrated in cows. For the longest time, they thought that cows fed together facing into the wind. And they actually feed together facing magnetic north or magnetic south. They have this little whatever in their head and they just know which way north is. Um, as a kid growing up, I slept with my head pointed north and for years and years and years until I moved and didn't regularly sleep with my head pointed north, I was able to just say that way's north. Actually in this house, that way's north. But, uh, so if you sleep with your head pointed north, you can actually be able to just like point north because you just like feel it pulling your head. Um, mazes. Now there's an easy way to solve or to handle getting lost in a maze and tunnels and whatever. It's you always keep your left hand on the wall and you will always get out roughly. Well, yeah, you'll always get out because you put your left hand on the wall and you follow it. Yes. You may go down into a blind alley. But once you go down into the blind alley, you'll come out of the alley, back up the other side with your left hand on the other wall. So that if you just keep your left hand on the wall and you always turn left when you can, then you will trace out the whole route and you will only miss like islands that aren't touching anything. Always get out of the maze. So uh, keep your left hand on the wall. Or keep your right hand on the wall. Either one, it doesn't really matter. But that's that's the way to find your way through a maze. Now, Mary was in this huge house, maybe 100 rooms. Uh, she thinks there are. I would not be surprised. A lot of, a lot of the old manor houses got really big. Um, they were kind of built on generation after generation. Uh, you see that in New England where you have these large family houses and people just build on and tack on another room or tack on a hallway or tack on a second story. And they all look kind of weird and rambling because they are weird and rambling, but it's, it's a good thing because it saves a lot of heat. So if you're in a place where it's cold and rainy all the time, then you have to use well, you have to use energy to heat. You know, you can burn wood, you can burn coal, you can burn gas, you can burn oil, uh, electric heat, but still you've got to use energy to do the heat. And if you're packed together, then it takes less energy to heat the house because when the heat escapes from a middle room, it goes to an outer room. And when it escapes from an outer room, it goes to a still further outer room and then maybe finally outside. So if you have these houses, which are all just kind of bundled together, they can stay warmer and you get some other efficiencies. But this is 
a really interesting ramshackle house. Oh, uh, ramshackle is probably not the best word because that implies broken down, but it's grand and rambling and uh, like the vines overgrowing the wall. The house just grows and expands to fill the surrounding countryside. Um, and she found almost nothing until she came to a door that was hidden behind a tapestry. And she saw Mrs. Medlock coming away with food. Mrs. Medlock, there's no one back there. Uh, Mary hasn't quite put it together. It's like, well, why is she coming from that direction with food if there's nobody back there? But, uh, yeah. Why is she coming back from there with food? <laughs>